hello honey bunnies welcome back it's me jenny how is everyone doing today okay my loves we are going to continue with the halloween series and i'm going to show you guys how to make these really super adorable i mean i thought they turned out so cute these are little witch legs and um i got this ribbon from michael's last year i love this ribbon oh my gosh i am obsessed with this ribbon it's so pretty so 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 cute and it's just basically like images of witch legs and i thought that is just the most adorable thing ever so i wanted to create some embellishments using this ribbon and so what i did was i created these um little witch legs which i thought turned out so cute and i love how um I love how they turned out I just I think they turned out super adorable as you can see here I mean they're just the most cutest thing in the world you can use these for a lot of things you can ask them actually use them for embellishments or use them for happy mail um, gift tags or even goodie bags just so many things so many things so let me show you really quickly what I did here I mean this is literally it takes it's gonna take me literally about seven minutes to show you guys how I created this I did nothing I did nothing all I did was fuzzy cut my legs I added some buttons I added a nice little bow and that's all I did that's literally all I did so let me show you here let me put this in a little corner so we can have some space to show you so what I have here in front of me is the ribbon that I cut out um, I basically just what I did was, I cut, I like, what I like to do is, I like to cut them in individually, just like this. And then I go back and I'll kind of like fuzzy cut them around. I'm not perfect. I'm not exact. You don't have to be exactly perfect. Um, just cut out enough of the surrounding of your leg wedge that you keep that shape as a leg wedge. That's basically it, okay? So here I'm going to show you really quickly what I did. I fuzzy cut this just the way I'm doing it right now. I did not go crazy. I am not going to go nuts with fuzzy cutting. It's not worth it. Um, just do your best that you can do and just basically work with what you have, okay? I am not the best fuzzy cutter, but I do my best. So I just trimmed the edges right now. And I'm going to go back around here and I'm going to go around the little booties and I'm just going to trace it and go up the little legs. Okay. And then I'm just going to come this way and kind of trim off the extra. And then basically you see that that's what you're going to get something like that. See that how simple that was. It's not going to be, I mean, again, it's not going to be perfect, but at least it gives you the shape of the witch um, legs, which is what you want. Again, I'm going to come around my little booties and I'm going to come up the legs. And then I'm going to come back this way. Trim this part out and boom, there you have it. Let me cut this a little bit off. And there you have it. See that? How easy that was? Super, super simple, guys. Super simple. Don't think too much about it and just cut it. Now, I'm going to cut around this bottom part because I don't like this here. So I'm just going to go around my little booties and I'm just going to cut around. there you go see that and I really love how that turned out look at that beautiful right I love it okay so now what I would recommend you guys to do is go back and use I mean there are some things that you can buy at Michaels or AC Moore I personally use clear nail polish that does the work for me it go you go around the clear nail polish and you kind of seal the edge of your little witch legs and that will help it keep its place and not just like you know go messy on you it'll just seal the edges and it will work in a good way trust me 
so I would recommend you to do that with clear nail polish or if you want to go and and you know you want to buy specific um, product for that there is at the store so once you get your little witch legs cut out and you have your clear nail polish around the edges you are ready to decorate these legs these legs are so easy to decorate I all I did was I used one button I used my twine and that's it okay so I'm going to create a nice little bow okay and I'm going to hot glue this bow onto the legs or onto the witch um, skirt okay so what I'm gonna do here is this bow is going to go in the corner of my little witch um, skirt and the button is gonna go right in the center let me glue down the button first because that's the easiest thing to do glue down the button you're gonna add the button right in the center of your skirt just like that and then we're gonna go back and we're going to add the little bow that we just created and we're gonna add it right in this right in the side of your little um, witch um, legs or dress or skirt or whatever you want to call it okay so we're going to add some hot glue to the back of our little bow And it's gonna go right in the side right here right in the side and that's basically all I did guys I did nothing else okay seriously that's all I did see that and you're gonna get something like this make sure you clean all these little string glue strings that's what you're gonna get literally that is all I did you saw how simple that was right it's so simple to create it just takes a little bit of patience because you want to make sure that you're cutting you're fuzzy cutting it correctly it again it doesn't have to be perfect but you it does require a little bit more of time but as you can see here it turns out that they are just the cutest thing in the world I love how these turned out I can't wait to show you guys what I'm going to do with these on our next project. So stay tuned for that. I hope you guys enjoy me making these adorable little witch legs. Um, make sure you thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. And I will see you guys soon on my next videos. Love you all. Have a fantastic weekend. And thank you so much for stopping by Honey Bunnies.